Bosfer.friends, Earl at the logbook.com here with Narissa. What kind of game can you play while you're holding a kitten in one arm? It's a really valid question, at least if you're me. And so, what about firing up the Atari 7800 and playing Pac-Man Collection? Now, this is another Bob DiCrescenzo homebrew that just <laughs> defies what you think you can expect from this particular hardware platform. And furthermore, because it's Pac-Man, I can play it while I'm holding a kitten. So, that's, uh, you have your option Pac-Man, New Puck X, Hangly Man, Ultra Pac-Man, Pac-Random Maze, Pac-Man Plus. I mean, every, every variation and every, you know, quite frankly, bootleg arcade variation that you can think of seems to be in there. Pack random maze. You know what? I feel like living dangerously. Whoa, somebody just passed through the maze walls. I'm falling foul already. I think he no. Just no. Okay, let's clear that quadrant of the maze. Out of there. Y'all come and see me. See that? Pretty good. I still got it. Of course, we're now on to another random maze. And... And I seem to have died suddenly. Oh, bye. Good, now I can play with my good hand. <laughs> I didn't want to disclose that part just in case I really sucked. I'm kind of surprised I've been doing as well as I have been.
you know, I am going to say this. If something along these lines had been part of the system's native software library at launch, rather than it being a homebrew that appears decades after the fact, Atari would have had no problem, none at all, uh, marketing the 7800 with this as a launch game, or perhaps as the pack-in, in some alternate universe where that actually happened. I was going to try to get the peach, but... You know, there will be other peaches. In fact, I hear there are millions of them out there. No. No, Blinky, just no. Ooh. Almost got pinky. You know what? Let's just do our best to clear this part of the maze and get out of town. I'm still going. Whew. This is really challenging with the uh, maze changing every round. But at last I am dead. Um, wow. That's just astounding. I, uh... I, I'm always stunned, just stunned by Bob's homebrews, and this is no exception. I just, I can't even begin to figure out Let's do the random maze thing on Ms. Pac-Man. And again, it's beautiful. I mean, it just... Yep. Yep. Other than my playing, um... Some minor... Minor variations in the color palette that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that has to do with which resolution level, and which graphical resolution level you are using for your game. But, you know, Ms. Pac-Man being a more muted yellow rather than a brilliant yellow, uh, that's... that's an acceptable compromise then or now.
That I have no problem with. I'm amazed at how quickly I'm able to more or less memorize the maze and, strate and strategize. Yeah, I, like there's really any evidence of that. But even with the maze changing every... Although I think it stayed the same and just changed color here. Ow. didn't go exactly the way I wanted it to, but not going to complain too loudly. I'm still alive. In fact, I'm now extra alive. Oh, I was... <laughs> oh, uh, I thought maybe... Just maybe they might not pick up on me being there. Come on. All right. Let's do this thing. You know what? Let's not. Let's just see what the next maze is like. This is astounding. <laughs> Intermissions and everything. I mean, this is... I don't know how Bob keeps doing this and cranking out these amazing homebrews on the 7800. This is just astounding. Um, and I know I keep using that word, but you probably would have to be about my age and have to have grown up alongside the home video game revolution and have personally experienced in real time the evolution of technology and understood that there was once a vast gulf between what arcade games could accomplish and what home consoles could accomplish. You really kind of have to appreciate that difference to understand why this is a big deal. Ultra Pac-Man? What is Ultra Pac-Man? I'm almost afraid to ask now. I'm about to find out. Ultra Pac-Man is Ultra Dead. That's what Ultra Pac-Man is.
There's the there's the fourth monster. I was missing a monster there. I guess they were off screen. Oh really? You think you're getting away from me that easily? Die, you all die. I also die on some occasions. I love a good game of Pac Man, I'm sorry. I know this is going on a lot longer than a game this simple would normally merit, but it's just exploring the different variations and and running face first into ghost monsters that makes it all worthwhile. Strawberry! have it. I, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and mercifully cut off the video here so as not to completely bore you. But suffice to say, the, uh, the Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Collection is just a, a little bit of a marvel for the 7800. I love it. <laughs> 